Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you these crocodile inspired nails using this Madame Glam nail kit. Madame Glam actually reached out to me and asked if I would like to try some of their products. And as a special treat to my viewers, I have a 30% off discount code. It'll all be linked down below. The bit.ly link will take you directly to their website where the coupon code will activate automatically. And at checkout, just hit pay as you go if you don't want to become a VIP member. And digging right into the kit, it comes with this really cute, little mini nail lamp a cord for it and these little legs that pop out and of course your instruction booklet with all of the information here is the madame glam base coat and top coat and here is the first shade always late it's sort of a really nice brown nude color and i really like that the color is on the top of the lids it just helps with storage and being able to quickly identify which shade you want here is the second shade it's called fresh water and it's a really pretty blue color and lastly i got a bottle of their blooming gel so i cannot wait to use this it's the first time i'm using blooming gel like this i plugged in the little lamp it's ready to go and starting off with the nude shade i'm gonna go ahead and paint the entire nail and i am using full cover tips today and they're all prepped and buffed so we're ready to go popping it in in the little lamp now i'm taking the blue shade and i'm going to be painting on a french design using a small detail brush and the big one to fill in all the spaces i will say that this mini nail lamp is super convenient and i love how small it is like it doesn't take up a ton of space on my desk so it was just really easy to use and once that's cured i'm going to be painting on the blooming gel just on the french part and taking the brown shade i'm gonna go ahead and start doing these crocodile shapes and letting the blooming gel work its magic i was really excited to try out the blooming gel because in the past i've just used base coat i haven't owned an actual blooming gel before so this was really fun to try now for the rest of the nails i'm gonna go ahead and paint it with the nude shade I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them like this just to get down the base layer and once that's finally done i'm going in with the blooming gel on the pointer and ring finger and using the blue to create some of our crocodile shapes just using a dotting tool really nothing specific doesn't take any skill or knowledge just super beginner friendly and i love how the blooming gel just really spreads out all of the colors it creates this really really cool effect so I just sort of keep adding dots anywhere that I see fit, anywhere that I want to fill in some of the space. There's really no rhyme or reason, just do whatever you feel. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up. And here's how that nail came out. It really came out super cool. I'll be repeating the same exact thing on the ring finger. These two are just going to be full on croc nails, no French design or anything like that. I wanted to see how the blue polish looked when it's all spread out with the blooming gel because obviously on the French nails we have to do the inverse since the French tip is blue so that means that the croc scales or what have you would have to be the nude color. And I really think that it creates a cool effect to have some nails like inverse of each other and have the colors sort of flip but I will say I love the blue scales scales way better i think that the blooming gel the way that it spreads out that blue color it just looks so nice whereas the brown when that one sort of gets spread out it makes the blue background look a little muddy um so it's not my favorite but i love the blue and as you can see on the middle and pinky nail i'm just doing a french design once again i'm doing this one a little different than i normally do french designs but i love how it came out bringing that color all the way up to the cuticle makes it look so nice and really elongates the nail bed i feel so i think i'll definitely be doing my french nails like this from now on once that's all done i'll be repeating the same thing we did on the thumb way earlier on these nails just taking some of the blooming gel just on the french part and taking the brown nude color and striping that on letting the blooming gel work its magic and curing now i'm finally moving on to top coat we're almost finished but not quite on the nails with the french design i wanted to add some gold accents so i'm taking some of these little gold arrows that i have and triangles and just sort of arranging them by the cuticle i'm not using anything but the top coat i figure since these are small enough they're probably going to be all right but if you are going to be using bigger charms make sure that you do use a really good rhinestone gel just to make sure that they don't go anywhere so i'm just adding those to the middle and pinky nail now and i'm gonna go ahead and top coat the rest once that's all done and you do have to wipe this top coat i realized that after curing it was still a little sticky so i just wiped it and it was all good 
And here is the final result. I love how these came out. The blooming gel worked so, so well. I'm in love with these crocodile inspired nails. Once again, everything is linked down below. So if you wanted to go check it out, it'll be down there. And there's also a 30% off discount for my viewers. So if you were interested in anything I used today, everything will be in the description box. Thank you so, so much to Madam Glam for sending these to me. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.